A uh, little news from the O.J. Simpson trial. So yesterday, they didn't allow cameras into the courtroom. Figures. The same day that Judge Ito decides to talk about me. <laughs> you guys know about this? No. Yeah, it's in all the newspapers. You heard about it? I heard about it this morning. <laughs> Where, where'd you hear about it? On My the cab driver. Oh, really? News travels fast. Uh, yeah. Very fast. The cab drivers now have it. Well, yeah, you see? There's the cab all drivers. Over. All right, listen to this. How did you Can you believe this? Oh, that's great. Should I let the news reporter tell it, or should I read it from the newspaper first? Let the news reporter tell yeah. it. Okay. She's, they got it from her. All right. So, you know, they're not allowing reporters into the courtroom during the jury picking process. Well, they don't allow cameras and, yeah. and audio equipment. They have two pool reporters. Yeah, only they can two reporters. Sit there and observe. Right, and paint little stupid pictures. Well, they can't even paint pictures. All they wow. can do is sit and observe because they don't even paint these two. Wow. No painting? No. Hmm. Mm. So, anyway, they allow two reporters and figures the day Judge Ito <laughs> decides to speak about me. <laughs> so, nice to know he's a listener. For those of you who don't. Um, know what's going on. Here is our correspondent, Linda Douche. <laughs> oh. Deutsch. Oh, sorry. He said, uh, if you see it on TV, switch to The Simpsons. The, the TV show, I mean. <laughs> if you hear it on radio, switch to Howard Stern. And everybody erupted in laughter. And he said, on second thought, don't do that. He's talked about this, too. <laughs> Oh, man. That's hysterical. Isn't that great? Judge, wonderful. Judge Ito. Yeah, at first I got insulted when I heard his switch to Howard Stern. I was like, like, we're not covering the case. We've been covering it right from the beginning. And like a blanket we cover it. I was the first one to uncover the Tawny Catane O.J. Simpson uh, connection. How dare they? <laughs> Judge Ito, big fan. Yeah. See, I would like to have heard the courtroom erupt into laughter. Sure. Wonder what OJ was doing when you see. Oh. See, we can see OJ during OJ. this time. I see OJ. <laughs> Does he have a radio in jail? Of course, OJ listens every morning. As I, <laughs> he knows he's guilty. All those bars are thick, boss. <laughs> <laughs> OJ's running this way. OJ's like this morning going, hmm. You know that Judge Ito gave some good advice yesterday. I, I'm sick and tired of hearing about myself. I'll turn on Howard's show. <laughs> OJ's guilty. <laughs> you hear old black OJ when he turns on this. Old, old black OJ. Fry, fry, fry. Fry, fry, fry. I bet you that song wins best song parody of the year, old black mm. OJ. Is that nominated? It's got to be. I believe it is. It's got to be nominated. If it isn't, I'm... Thinking of, uh, I think it's the theme song. A new O.J. song. Has anybody uh, done a, a parody to You're Gonna Burn? You know that, You're Gonna Burn. You write that one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm shocked that nobody's picked up on that. No, we didn't have you burn, advise us. Burn, burn, burn. <laughs> I don't know that song. Who does that? Rob. Robin. Uh, <laughs> it just popped into my head. I see. Pop it out. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's a critic. Anyway, so our correspondent, Linda Deutsch. Deutsch. Linda Deutsch. <laughs> it says Deutsch. Our correspondent, Linda Deutsch, says that uh, Judge Ito yesterday recommended to the jury that they listen to the Howard Stern show. That's right. But then thought about it you and said, back. Mm, maybe you better not. <laughs> But all of the jury could have been allowed to listen to us. Yeah. At one point. Almost. Oh, all we right. almost had the entire jury in our hands. We three weeks into case. Jury, what you listened to on radio yesterday? <laughs> Howard Stern Show. Good. You do right thing. <laughs> that must drive our competitors nuts when, yeah. they, when they read something like that in the paper, particularly in Los Angeles. Judge Ito singling out the Howard Stern Show. That's right. That's the radio show that's on the top of his head. And we don't even and we don't even live in Los Angeles. <laughs> Thank God Giorgito didn't mention the Mexican station. <laughs> that would have been very, very embarrassing. That's right. You listen to Mexican station. <laughs> Maybe that's what he said after he denied the Howard Stern show. The one with similar call letters <laughs> to Howard Stern show. <laughs> Giorgito. Bet you his kids are big fans. That's why they uh I didn't know he had kids. Oh. I didn't even know he was married. He is married, I know that. Chichito? It's hard to tell. It's hard to tell with the Japanese. <laughs> Japanese are very difficult to tell their, their age, and especially Chichito with that Abraham Lincoln beard. Yeah, he's almost covered his face. Yeah. Completely. Yeah. The eyes give it away, though, every time. <laughs> Chichito, uh, I would say, is a man in his 
Late 40s? I'd say I'd say 40s. so. Yeah. yeah. But that doesn't mean he has kids. Sure it does. Oh, it does? Okay. Of course. Everyone in their mid-40s has kids. <laughs> <laughs> Jackie? Well, Jackie. Jackie. Jackie's saving uh, that sperm for Robin. Uh, for Robin, right. He's freezing it. <laughs> He's freezing it. In with the clam. No, uh, God decided Jackie's too immature. Actually, he is preserving it, but with booze. <laughs> Jackie will settle down and have a family soon. Yeah, I predict. 80. He'll be Grandpappy Jackie. He's still thirsty. He's still thirsty. I think Wiley's still under the influence of drink and other things, and other he substances. He be a yeah. parent. And, he's right. And he's very responsible about I it. I agree. Yeah. I'm very happy that he's made that decision. Well, there's enough problems. One day, Jackie will be drunk in the back of his car, and his young children will be driving him up to college, and, you know, they'll be going there, and, oh, and they'll, they'll, throw a, they'll throw their urine out the window, and it'll hit Jackie in the face. And then the circle will be complete. The circle will not be on <laughs> Yeah. Hey, that's why he's not having children. He doesn't want that backlash. He knows what he did to his parents. He threw urine in his mother's face. Jackie was driving his mother up to Michigan State, and... Why? She, I don't know. He gave her a bottle of rye, was it, in the back? Uh, yes, rye whiskey. Rye whiskey. Keep her pacified. Keep her pacified with a big baby <laughs> bottle. And Jackie was drinking beers. And Why was the pitcher in the car? Yeah. They were drinking. We were mixing martinis. <laughs> right. Oh, the in case he wanted oh, lemonade. The pitcher was in there for precisely the reason it was used. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh, it was the urinal. I thought those were for it carrying for liquid you wanted to drink. And then Jackie uh, yes. evacuated. Couldn't stop at a restaurant. And then he like, he threw the urine out the window. And Whoops. Could have been worse. Could have been a lit cigarette. Ah. Just imagine if you were driving along and the wind was blowing a different way. Right. It could have gone into, you know, some other, other person's car. I would have ran my car into his. <laughs> the Jackie Mobile. Uh, Jackie Mobile. You were in the passenger side, right? Yeah. Right. And mom's what are you talking about? If the wind was blowing a different way, when you're going 70 yeah. miles an hour down the highway, the wind's blowing one way. I know that, but it could have just gone a no, little bit of a different angle. And Jackie's feisty today. He's going to fight with you. I know. And day. gone into someone me. else's car. Wind could have gone another way. Don't you miss what Which way could it go? I'm a student of aerodynamics. <laughs> <laughs> We'll get an old Mustang and put Robin in the back seat. Robin, no, we don't have to do an experiment. We'll reenact it. That'd be funny. Let's get your mother for the reenactment. You get the run. <laughs> What'd your mother say when you hit her in the face with the picture? You know what? Picture? Nobody remembers. My friend Carl doesn't remember. I don't remember. We've discussed this. Was she all upset? No, she we were all been. loaded. We were just giggling. I mean, did you realize that it happened right away? What are you talking about? Yeah. I'm asking you a question. <clears throat> I poured it. I heard a shriek. I turned around. And she was dripping. All right. My that's all I wanted to know. My friend was swerving down the road looking in the rearview mirror. <laughs> <laughs> might have been the funniest thing that ever happened in the history of the world. <laughs> Aside from when you hung your butt out the window and mooned in it. The glit? What are you talking about? Wasn't that the one where you... Oh, I know which one it was. Uh, you, you, you ended up going to the bathroom on the windshield? Well... Number two? Well, I uh, know you don't... Not directly. Not directly. That's a that's a story we'll save for another He's time. <laughs> He's transferred. <laughs> <laughs> Jackie's got a lot of good stories. A lot of good toilet years stories. Ago. Come on. Not that long. Twenty five. Come on. I, they Five never meant ago. you to go in cars. Jackie Jackie was mooning, I guess. Harvest moon. Harvest moon it's called. Because he went to the bathroom. It was full. Yeah. <laughs> full moon. <laughs> and uh Indian summer gets me nuts. <laughs> so he did that, and then there was um, he was not he didn't have any toilet paper, so you could imagine how everything ended up on the windshield. Well, the guy driving didn't believe me when I told him what I did, so I proved it. <laughs> you know, why would you ever challenge he Jackie? Almost crashed Is he crazy, this guy? Now you know why the nails on his hands are falling off. <laughs> Fingernails are falling. Yeah, why he has to put antiseptic everywhere? That was Mike Bacchanelli. Yesterday, me and Jackie went to the movies to see The Scout, the new Albert Brooks movie. They had a special screening because Albert insists that we see the movie before he comes in. And Jackie the whole time. Ah! <laughs> what? I don't know. Jackie was we having. Had a time. You give Jackie a free movie. A splendid time you had. Jackie, you give Jackie a free movie. Take a pause. <laughs> what, was, what did Jackie yell out during the there movie? Was a, there, there was a part in the movie where Albert Brooks makes reference to King Kong, and Jackie just goes, 
Lee, it's Kung. <laughs> you uh, uh, coming in Lyle? Lee, it's Kung. <laughs> you, <laughs> wait a second. You had to be there. You didn't say that during the movie. <laughs> he, he doesn't know what he said. Yeah, when we realized that... Uh, I'm not going to... Kong! Kong! I started to turn into an idiot. You saw seeing the parody to the two movies. It was funny. And you laughed, too. You, Raposo. You laughed. I don't know what he's talking about. Hey, no one knows what he's talking about. <laughs> you know it. Oh, yeah. It's Kong! <laughs> it's like a, you, your movie it was like a laugh track. What is it, you're, Stuttering you're, John? No, you're I'm not exactly right. He's like, he was laughing the whole time. He was like, yeah, I don't know which way this movie's going to go. It's great. <laughs> this is unbelievable. You never know which way the movie's going to go. Exactly. I mean, the movie was good. Don't get me wrong. We enjoyed the movie. But Jackie, this was you like... Could, did you really enjoy the movie around Jackie? Uh, well, yeah, it was fun to be there because Jackie, Jackie... I'm not sure if the movie was funny or not. It was Jackie, a two-way conversation. Jackie you makes... It, Jackie goofs through the whole movie. So you're so concerned so you with the movie you business Jackie, now. You? You're so wrapped up in your own movie. You're like, is this funny? Is this good? Is this, is this a good movie? I'm not sure. Can I stay? I'm not sure. Is this a good movie? No, I never is once said that. Yeah. Oh, never once said that. Oh, uh, did, did you hear me say that? I didn't hear you. Of course not. You were fortunate. Jackie away. defending you himself. That with your big lips in your way. <laughs> my big lips didn't stop me from seeing the movie. Oh, and they're not my ears. I gotta be honest, Jackie was laughing at. Uh, even the jokes that weren't funny, you had to laugh because Jackie was laughing. I know, he was like. <laughs> you owe me, Albert. Believe me, it, Howard, if they would have served free food, Jackie would have died. Oh, Jackie, yeah, that's it. Jackie goes, <laughs> the, only, oh, the only criticism I have of this movie is there's no drinks or food. <laughs> Where's the buffet? Hey! <laughs> they would have fed him, it would have been over. <laughs> this is the greatest movie ever made. He would have uh, ripped a stitch. Yeah. Citizen Kane! <laughs> yeah. Citizen Kane, a comedy! <laughs> this is just... Citizen Kane of comedy. <laughs> <laughs> we were driving home in, in a limo. We all said it at the same time. It wasn't like anyone. Yeah. Like all Everybody really, remarked about Jack. Yeah, about how Jack yeah. was the laugh track for the whole movie. It's a Spartacus. It's really baseball. funny. When we were on vacation, this last vacation. How did me, I wind up in a barrel today? Yeah. Me and Robin. <laughs> how did I wind up in the barrel? You love being in the barrel. Wait, do you think there's a warning that comes with being in the barrel? <laughs> me and Robin had made Robin plans Robin. to go to. It's okay. I like to talk like the audience, okay. unlike yourself. Oh, right. he's correcting you. Yeah, yeah. I got an English professor over there. <laughs> Robin and I. It's Robin and I. Robin and I went to a movie. <laughs> what movie did we see? Natural Oliver Stone. Born <laughs> Natural Born Killers. And it was great. It so was I'm sitting there waiting for Robin. I was the first one to show up. Yeah. And who walks in? Who's the second one to walk in after me? <laughs> Jackie and his wife, Sirianni. Oh. Yes. My wife's Siriani. <laughs> his wife's Siriani. Sounds like he's married to a guy. Yeah. <laughs> Her first name is Siri. Anyway, so Jackie's wife, Nancy Siriani Martin, is there with Jackie. And it was really cool screening because the reason you go to the screening is it's a Planet Hollywood and they serve you food yeah. first and drinks. Food and drinks. My only criticism is is that they give you like a big plate of food and stuff. No place to sit in. Yeah, there's no place to like, they should give you a tray or something. Seriously, I, I, I mean, I was eating out of my lap. Everything was... That's why I very rarely eat there. I don't like balancing plates. And... Well, I, was, I had no problem with it. <laughs> oh, yeah, you had it balanced on your knee when I walked. And I never go anywhere, so this was like my big night out. My wife always yells at me. She, My wife complains a lot that I don't take her anywhere. That's her big complaint with me that I don't like to go anywhere or do anything. Why have you got to take her somewhere? She wants to go somewhere. Why can't she go? I don't know. And she needs an escort, and she needs someone to take her. And I'm like... Well, that's why people get married, because they don't want to go places alone. I know. Because they're so in love. Yeah, and I didn't realize that. <laughs> and my wife says to me, you know, and I've asked people to go places with me, and, you know, it's very uncomfortable, and everyone's there coupled, and right. I'm not a couple, and I... I that's said, well, why you get married. I should so get a divorce. What do you want from me? You know, this you're is it. Be part of the group. I said it ain't going to get any better. <laughs> <laughs> but you're right. I mean, go, you know, just go yourself. I even say to her, I go mean, yourself. That, just because she enjoys something doesn't mean you enjoy it. Right. Mm. Are you saddled in with uh, the yeah. whole deal? <laughs> yeah. So my wife so makes a big deal. So on vacation, I said, oh, that'll, that'll be cool. I'll take her to a movie screening. It just Because it, I, I get invited to these things all the time, but I can never go because uh -huh. we work such early hours. So I said, oh, good, this will keep her quiet for like two or three days. Because <laughs> then she can call, yeah, she can call over. Guess what? We went to a movie screening. Hey! Hey! hey. How are we just made a movie Oh, this is her. Oh, okay. she, she talks a lot like you. <laughs> Jackie oh. and, and Allison sounding very much alike. Oh, he took me to a movie screening. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so I just said, oh, good, and she'll get to eat. 
but come. And she'll see people. Yeah, yeah, it'll yeah. Be yeah. It'll be great. Robin will be there. She can enter it up with her. And I'll just sit there. So you go in and they give you this whole big plate of food, which is cool. Like, I mean, they had turkey and all kinds of neat stuff. So, you know, I took a few slices of turkey and stuff. I said, Dad, Jackie walks in. He's like, what are you doing here? <laughs> you know, right away. That was the greeting I got. Not hello. No, yeah. <laughs> what are you doing here? I was going to enjoy myself today. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, I don't want to think about work. Uh, yeah. Yeah. How are you going to talk about work? You're just dragging me down. Yeah. So Jackie walks in with Nancy. Gives me that, you know, that blow off hello, and I'm going uh -huh. to boy, that thing great. Yeah. And one of the How did he get it? it wasn't for me, he right. wouldn't even be here. Yeah. All right, so, yeah, I didn't see anybody inviting him to movie premieres. <laughs> on his own. On his own. Yeah, right. But all right, okay, so blow me up. So then he walk, So then I see Jackie disappear. He makes a beeline for the food. <laughs> he comes out about ten minutes later with the belly and everything. Gorge. And oh, stop with that crap with He's the got the plate. He's got a little tiny plate, which they give you a little tiny. No, you can hardly it put really it. Really, is a small plate. Yeah, it is. It is a small plate. It is not a full it's dinner plate. Jackie plate. has already gotten the turkey leg, the giant. Did he really big, take the yeah, leg? The oh big leg. Oh, that's exactly what I would have envisioned. Give me the leg. Like, I need a bone. Like a caveman. It's like Fred Flintstone. Yeah, and like three beers, and like he's got like so much salad and breads piled onto this little plate that like it's it's like it's all falling on the floor. All right, that's He's good. licking the fingers. He's at, the, I mean, having a party. It Good might way. as well be a picnic. And the wife is sitting there enjoying my, my hospitality. Yeah. Nancy Seriani Martling uh, thinks oh, uh, she thinks uh, she's being invited because she's an actress. Well, they yeah. heard the Seriani uh, name yeah. and put her on the list. And the whole time I'm watching her eat, and she can pack it in, I'm thinking about. <laughs> a bow winder! <laughs> was it? A bow bo winder! No, it wasn't. It was a spanner. A bowl spanner. Oh, that's right. It's spandable. Yeah. Ah. She was loving that. Rich, Richard Jenny chopped it up as I cheered. <laughs> <laughs> His wife went to the bathroom, and, and anyone who followed her afterwards couldn't use the bathroom because she <laughs> with a bowl winder. Jackie's or so proud of it. I know. Did Richie, Je Richard Jenny really have to chop it up? It was the funniest thing that ever happened. It wasn't in the it water. It was, a it was the bridge over the river quiet. <laughs> Oh. And she didn't know that. Jenny came and got me. So every time I'm watching your wife, you know, stack up the food, I'm thinking, thinking about, about that. Building. Yeah, building. <laughs> building. <laughs> building. Building. she constructing now? God knows what she's making. Lego. The golden Gate in the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> we, have a good, we have a full replica of the Golden Gate. Nancy built it. <laughs> we have a little toll gate at the front. <laughs> what a gal. Oh, my wife. I'm so lucky. I love her so much. <laughs> <laughs> Golden Gate Bridge. She's working on the bridge. What a nice man. time at the screen. A dollar and a half for the Golden Gate Bridge. <laughs> yeah. No, please. No, please. <laughs> what happened? Richard Jenny walked in and like he said, "Oh my God, I can't go yeah, to the bathroom." He just screamed down the stairs and yelled for me, and I came running up the stairs, and he said, "I, I," he said, "I, I can't control myself." And I looked, and I was like, "Oh my God." Was that coming from Nancy? Yeah, he, or he Carl? Said, you know, it wasn't my wife. But he said that. You, your girlfriend was in here just before me. He said that that's be her work. Work. <laughs> <laughs> work. He was sweating. He said he never saw anything like her in his life. So didn't your wife look at the bowl before she left? I don't know what she did. She must have been, you know, she could have been drinking or something. It could have happened, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we were well into the 4th of July party, sir. So oh, it was 4th uh, of July. She wanted to get back to the it. fun. There was she, no wasting was, time, Flutter. Well, you know, what happened was, I'm sure she just didn't look. <laughs> right. Not like I always look. I'm sure, of course. Especially when something's going on like that. Especially if you're an artist, Jeff. <laughs> yeah. Especially if you have guests. Was this at your house? <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. I'm sure you know the plumbing in Jackie's house doesn't work that good. She flushed and went and went back downstairs, but like I say, it spanned so the water ran under. She's a lot more demure now, let's just say. It was like a babbling I'm, I was over Jackie's house for dinner during the summer. And, and nothing uh, happened. Nothing happened. Okay, I will use the bathroom. I was nervous walking in. The only, well, thing that, checking. the only thing that was in the bathroom was Nancy leaves like a whole bunch of books around, but right. on the top of the book pile is How to Live with an Alcoholic. Right. And, and like, it's like Nancy screaming for help. We put that in there. I don't know. Do both of them need to read it? Do they read it? I don't know. Number? I can't figure out if, ja if Jackie says he put that in there for us. I can't figure out no, if it's that funny. No. Or if the whole situation is that scary. No. No. Funny, yeah. no. I sit here and put up with this. You're not that funny. You're right. <laughs> I agree with you. There was no way. No, that was Nancy's cry for help. Because my wife and I both said, did you see that book in the bed? Yeah, because I, I said, I didn't want to say anything. I went... Oh, man. Yeah, is it this bad? How to live with an alcoholic. Right on top. You're, you're not even buried. 
You should have flipped through. I got that <laughs> we book have to live with him. Hey, Jackie, can you bring that book so we read it? We kind of have to live with you about eight hours a day. I, can I, we burn, give, I burn it one day. And then, can <laughs> we give you the quiz? <laughs> no. hey, there's a quiz in there. Oh, sure. Have you ever blacked oh, out? Oh, got to do that. Yeah. Come on, well, Jackie's done in. it all. <laughs> bring the book in, Jack. I read one of those Reader's Digest things. Uh, are you an alcoholic? Like one time in high school, you know, yeah. like 35 questions. And at the end it says... If you answered yes to one or more of these questions, you have a problem. And I, I had to go through the list like three or four times to find one that I could actually rationalize not checking. <laughs> <laughs> a happy drunk. <laughs> one of the questions is, has drinking ever affected your job? Have you ever had blackouts? Uh, have you ever missed appointments because of drinking? Oh, What's yes, the yes, lip yes, for drinking? Yes. Because my lips never kept me from an appointment. My lips never gave me a hangover. They should. <laughs> Those lips do hang over, though. They do, they do hang over. They go over the obvious. <laughs> All right, so... We go to the movie, and I'm like, I'm, I'm feeling good because, like, you know, J Jackie and Nancy are there, yeah, and then you came in. Yeah, I'm feeling good because I feel secure in my environment. And then um, Daisy Fuentes walks in. 